Join the conversation on Facebook and Twitter with Good Day Dakota. It is 6.43 and welcome back. Wind is back in the forecast today, which shouldn't be a surprise to us. It's nope. pretty regular here in North Dakota. <laughs> yeah, new this morning, meteorologist Amber Wheeler is here to explain why we are so windy and what's actually causing the wind in this week's weather-wise. Hi, Amber. Well, it seems like I'm always using the words breezy or windy to describe the forecast, but why exactly are we so windy here in North Dakota? Well, as a whole, the Earth is trying to constantly stabilize itself. It's uh, that's basically all that weather is. Mother Nature is trying to neutralize things and we know that will never settle. Luckily, that keeps me employed. The constant heating and cooling of the Earth creates pressure systems, the high and low pressure systems that you often hear about, and it's the differences in the pressure that cause the wind. Air will move from high to low pressure always. Now take a look at the setup that we have today. We've got low pressure to the east and high pressure slightly to the northwest. And if I take off the pre uh, precipitation here, you get a better look at the pressure. Now these lines are called isobars. They're equal lines of pressure. So the closer these lines are, the more dramatic the change in the pressure, the higher the wind is going to be. So our setup, as you can see, has tightly packed lines here, tightly packed isobars. That's why we're going to see a windy forecast this afternoon. That's why the wind's going to be so strong. And we know the wind blows from high to low pressure, which is why we've got a strong wind, mostly from the west and the northwest for today. So there are a few things that also really impact uh, the wind that influence the direction. It's not just the fact that you've got high pressure and low pressure here. The wind could still be going in that direction, but you've got other influences as well. Mountains and hills, buildings, thunderstorms, localized winds can change as well. Trees. These are all things, you know, especially the mountains and the taller buildings, bigger cities, uh, you know, trees. We don't have a ton of these things in the upper plains. So many of the upper plains states, the Canadian prairies, they're all in the same boat as us. And so we get just downright windy on a regular basis. Tim and Alicia, you know, I was telling you in the commercial break that I could go on and on about wind. I literally could do a half hour special on wind because there are so many different things about wind. But that is kind of the uh, setup that we have today and the reason why we're so windy. It is the differences in pressure, the closer the high and low pressure are the tighter the the gradient is going to be and the stronger the winds will be you get a little hot winded I uh -huh. could get hot winded. That's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> I know that they're going to wrap me up here pretty soon, but I really could talk about wind all yeah. day. I just scratched the surface. Something here. that's an, always in conversation here in North Dakota. Yeah, especially around here. Exactly. Always. Yeah. Thank well, you, Amber. Very, very interesting. And of course, the full weather forecast is coming up next.